Hello everybody and welcome to Crow Park. We're here today for the launch of the TG Tahar sponsored Ladies Getty Football Association uh, draw. You're all very welcome here to Croke Park this afternoon uh, for the draw for the first qualifying round of the TG Carr Ladies Football Championship in the senior and intermediate grades. Uh, a special welcome to players, managers, uh, supporters, and there are plenty here as well. A special word of welcome as well to our referees, and I think some of you may know why, but it's a special day for uh, referees, and uh, well, I'll let that one develop. Uh, as the afternoon uh, progresses. Uh, all of the teams and their preparations and matches well underway already by this stage. Who knows who are going to be the three teams who will have in their possession the three cups uh, here in front of us come September time. Now for the past 13 years uh, TG Cahar have been involved centrally with Common Pelguel Naman as sponsors and of course as broadcasters as well. And uh, there are new initiatives that TG Cahar tries to launch uh, every year if possible and there's one special one this year and to explain a bit more about that and indeed about the coverage that lies ahead on the channels uh, from Common Pell Gwellemann this year, would you welcome please Canacy TG Cahar, Polo Gallagher. This year, TG Cahar will provide 17 championship matches, all live on television and all live on the player throughout the world. Jairi Gahinta, Le Cluta and the Bianna Shakatche, up to 500,000 people viewed the All Ireland Finals, the three All Ireland Finals last September. So we look forward to 2013 and we, have our, we all have our own hopes and expectations. 2013 will be a special year. Ladies football will be celebrating their 40th championship year. Co-garda has the Galeer agus Galatishev ag Fias agus ag Fodderberg. Last year, the Ladies All Ireland Finals was the first live high definition broadcast on TG Cahar, and this year TG Cahar will introduce RefCam to Ladies Football, a major development to live TV sport in Ireland. RefCam will give us the referees' view will give us a better understanding, will act as a roving camera on the field of play and will also be a coaching tool. And we have one of our senior referees, Maggie Farley from Cavan here, displaying the RefCam kit and of course the live feed on the screen from RefCam. So all the matches this year, the 17 matches will feature RefCam along with the usual outside broadcast coverage and we hope it works very well. Now, the way that this works is, the first two teams that come out will play against each other, the winners of which will go on with the three remaining teams who received a bye into the second qualifying round in a couple of weeks. So I hope that that's clear, but it'll become clear as we go ahead. So as I say, the first two teams coming out, Pat will draw the first, Pole will draw the second, and these two teams will play each other. Off you go, Pat. Leitrim will play. Leitrim will play Antrim. So Leitrim, Agus, Champini, Social Nablina, Shikata, Antrim. So they will play each other in the only game that we have in the intermediate draw in the first round of the qualifiers. And the teams that go through automatically are Wicklow. Limerick and that should leave us with Ancovon. Okay, so there you have it. That's the intermediate draw. So just to recap, we have Leitrim play Antrim and the teams who receive a bye directly into the second qualifying round are Wicklow, Limerick and Cavan to the senior draw. Now, the first two teams drawn on this occasion will go through automatically they receive a bye into the second round. So the first two teams will get a bye into the second qualifying round. The third team drawn will play the fourth team drawn. And the fifth team drawn will play the sixth team. Armagh. Armagh receive a bye into the second qualifying round. And who's with them? Leash. Leash also receive a bye into the second qualifying round. 
So now we're down to the teams that will play each other. So the third and fourth teams play against each other. Westmeath. Westmeath will play. Dunningall, Donegal. Okay, so Westmeath and Donegal, that's the first definite uh, qualifier. Clare. Which leads Clare to play Kildare. Keith, we're here in Crow Park today is the launch of uh, the ladies, this new ref uh, camp. Uh, talk to me a little about that. Ah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a new initiative by, by Ladies Football and TG Carr. It's, it's hopefully to promote the the, 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 the television side of ladies football, the promote up and coming referees that we'll be able to help them out along the way, give them different ideas, different perspectives of what's happening with the with the, the ref cam. It's, it's, it's worked out in Australia uh, with rugby league, rugby union, so we've no reason to see why it can't work here because it's a great idea and hopefully it'll take off. But it's just great today. It's, you know, ladies gave up are celebrating their 40th anniversary and just to see all the kids playing, it's just a really good day and it just shows how strong and, you know, ladies gave up is becoming. I see you observing with Maggie Farley, the new ref camp. Yeah. Thoughts on it? I think that, like, it just shows how professional, like, ladies gave up is becoming to have, you know, anything that will help the referee or also like the viewers, Team Jakar I think are televising 17 games this year so it just will help you know the viewership and it's just brilliant um, on behalf of Team Jakar to promote it in that such a way. It's a wonderful year for our association and I suppose little the, pe the people who founded our association think that we would have reached a situation where we are today where we have the region 150,000 members so we went huge strides and we're having a get-together next Thursday night at Tarlitz in Hayes' Hotel. I uh, hope that there will be a few of those people who are involved at the very beginning who are still with us, thanks be to God, and who will be in attendance. So it, it, it's a wonderful occasion for our association. Uh, indeed, I'd love to take the opportunity of thanking all the people, not just the founders, indeed the people who work so hard and bring our association to where it is today.